If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's going on everyone and happy 4th of July if you do live in America and celebrate it. Well, you may celebrate it anyways, but happy 4th of July everyone to anyone who celebrates it. Hopefully you guys have a nice, safe holiday and let's hop right into the GTA Online news. As of time I am recording this, we still have no trailers and no official news from Rockstar. Whether or not we're going to get a GTA Online update or even a Red Dead update for that matter. But last week when I was making my GTA Plus video for the month, the event month was actually an event three weeks. It's not an actual full month. In fact, the GTA Plus events and benefits end on July 18th. And then supposedly they're supposed to get some new ones, maybe July 19th. And it even says that right on their Rockstar Newswire page. Which is kind of perfect because July 19th, the day after, will be a Tuesday later on this July. Which could mean that might be the day that we get the GTA Online new summer update. Now, I'm kind of curious as to why the events for GTA Plus benefits will be changing on July 18th and July 19th. It's probably because they're going to end up getting early access or double money for whatever new content is to come with the summer update. Which could be very extremely disappointing for some Rockstar and GTA Online fans if the people that are paying for the subscription service are getting things early or things just come easier to them, they get free things if this new update ends up coming out during the summer. Honestly, I won't care. I have plenty of money to do whatever the hell I want in GTA Online, but then again, the game's 10 years old, so a lot of people do. It's not a flex or anything, but I, I ha I've been around the block. I've experienced plenty enough in GTA Online. I, I'm not, I don't really care, honestly. But I can definitely see how this can be pretty disappointing. And I mean, hey, we might as well bring it up. Red Dead Online is still, has no word as to whether or not they're gonna be getting an update. And it has been almost a year or over a year at this point since they got blood money last summer, which was an absolute freaking disaster. So yeah uh sad day for red dead online fans and i i'm i'm one of those they just took a masterpiece and absolutely just shoved it into the dirt face down into the dirt and just smothered it they don't even care about it anymore which is really really upsetting well what do you guys think is july 19th a good day for the new update to come out what well, let me know what you guys think as well red dead online anything having to do with this video and especially what you guys think about GTA Plus's benefits changing on July 19th for the rest of the month. Whether or not they're going to be getting new benefits for the update, who knows. But I would like to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. So let me know, of course. And uh, yeah, with that being said, please remember to drop a like and subscribe to our post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.